presented by T-Mobile. My name is Woody Lavelle. I'm originally from Kansas City, and I've pretty much been in the barber business my whole life. I'm a third generation barber. I followed in my grandfather's footsteps. When I think about my grandfather, I think about him in the barber shop. Because as a kid, it was really like second nature. I mean, you went to the barber shop every Saturday morning, no matter what. It was a place where I hung out, I helped out, I ran errands. We were tossed into manhood through the barbershop. You know, you picked up ideas on how to carry yourselves. You learned how to talk to a fellow man, how to greet him, how to shake his hand, how to look him in the eye. These were things that you just picked up there over the weekend. What I like about bringing my son Julian around the barbershop is that he just kind of hangs out and he sees how guys walk up to me, speak to me, the things that we talk about. He can see the interaction of men in an environment where men feel confident. That's one reason why barbershops are so popular now, is because we're in a time where men need to feel confident. You know, the first thing that happens when you lose your house back to the bank or whatever, you start to lose your confidence. So guys start to look for environments they can go and talk to other men in the same situation they're in to see how they're dealing with it. I didn't grow up wanting to be a barber. It was actually the last thing that I wanted to do as a kid. But when I started migrating to California, what I found out was out here in LA, there just weren't very many gathering places for men. So I got into cosmetology, did the whole West Side, Beverly Hills, slow drying thing, did very well at it, but started missing that atmosphere of just an old school barber shop and couldn't find anything like it. So I reached out to my family, I called my dad, I, I talked to him and I just said, we need to recreate what we were doing in Kansas City in Los Angeles. In the early 80s, when we first opened, we had poker nights, we had open mic night, we rented the place out for guys to have bachelor parties. It was literally a club at the time. It was four or five of us in our early 20s. A few of us didn't even have places to live, so we'd take turns sleeping in the shop. We'd almost draw straws at the end of the day and be like, hey, it's my turn to sleep in the shop tonight. I mean, that's just how much time we actually spent there and how much we loved what we were doing. It just really grew from that because Hollywood got to see something that wasn't a trend, something that was really real. I mean, we had guys knocking down our doors wanting to work with us. You had to be the best in town to work at the barbershop club. The classic cut is in. When I talk about classic cut, I'm talking about that nice taper on the side with that nice, strong, shiny pomade, slick back, part on the side look. The guys are rocking it all over the place. Our whole philosophy is to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. You're gonna get that bottom line as close as possible and you're gonna to try to create a fade that is seamless, where it almost looks like it's been airbrushed. What's really popular now is using oils. You'll see a lot of guys put on pre-shave oils and those type of things. We believe in shaving a clean face. So our whole thing is warming up the face, using a lather that really lathers and softens up the hair so it will stand up, and then using a nice sharp blade. The old school safety razor is really big right now because it holds a double edged old school razor that is made with a very fine and rich metal. Once you lay that really nice blade on the face, all you have to do is go over it one time if the face is moist and warm. Most guys that get into this, they get into it because they want the freedom to do the things that they love. It's hard to do that at a nine to five, 40 hours a week behind a desk. I can use the barber industry to create a lifestyle to allow me to do the things that I really want to do. Many of the guys that work in here do different things. You know, I'm a surfer myself, so this allows me to put up the gone surfing sign when a swell comes in and chase the waves. Our concept and philosophy into the industry will help you have longevity if you look at this as a career and not like a hustle, which pretty much was the downfall of the barbering industry. A lot of boys weren't growing up wanting to be barbers. We're finally at a time where little boys are now saying, hey, you know what, that is a really cool dude right there. I want to be a barber.